an outrage. Lionel Richie's wife is asking for $300,000 a month in alimony. For what? Lionel wrote all the songs. But the wife was the inspiration behind all the songs. No, she was the inspiration to never get married. <laughs> Look, when they got married, she became accustomed to a certain lifestyle. You can't expect a woman to start eating I can't believe it's not lobster without a fight. <laughs> You American women are just spoiled. In Cuba, after a divorce, all a woman gets is a raft and a push. Bye -bye. What's up, Karen? Hey, Kevin. Hello, everybody. Meet my number one moneymaker. Oh, hey, Uncle Kevin. I thought they weren't supersizing things anymore. <laughs> Brianna, I'm the manager. When people see this out front, they're going to be flocking the fat heads. It's called advertising. Okay? Two years at Baltimore Community College. BCC, baby! <laughs> what makes you think people want to come here just because you here? Excuse me? Who does P. Diddy fly in personally on his private jet just to cut his hair? And, uh, who gave Ashton Kutcher the little raggedy shag look? And who cut Bobby Brown hair every time before he went to jail? All three times. <laughs> this guy. Hey, y'all, uh, who's the one who got fired for damn near cutting the rapper's ear off? This, this guy! <laughs> Y'all clown me if y'all want, but you better be on your best behavior when my big bro Flex gets here with the new arm. That means walk, no gambling. Gambling? Ah, oh, man, come on. I just like to play cards a lot. For money. <laughs> hey, what up, Flex? Flexito, what's up? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Kev is cut out for the barbershop business. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, anyway. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Jack Sherwood. Hi. This is my daughter, Tiffany. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm your new owner. He's talking about the barbershop, right? <laughs> you get the new owner? But, but you're Jack Sherwood. Jack Sherwood. Uh, this is my little brother, Kevin. Uh, he often repeats himself. At home, we call him Kevin two times. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, excuse me for a moment, please. Flex, Brianna, uh, family meeting. Hi. I'm Candy. Welcome to Fatheads. Hi. Oh, look, you've got a purse just like mine. Oh, n not exactly. Fendi starts with an F, not an E. <laughs> <laughs> Family meeting. Flex, Jack Sherwood owns Speedy Cuts. You know they take mom and pop shops and turn them into generic haircutting factories. Man, all I care about is my speedy check. I'll be good. I don't need another job. I already have a full-time job being your loving daughter. Yes, I know. And you're fired. And where does that have to get off knocking my knock off? Will you forget about that? All right, we got real problems here. They don't use our cones. <laughs> Apparently, you don't either. Tiffany, you ran up a $50,000 American Express bill in one weekend by shopping and partying. But, Daddy, membership has its privileges. Just because Jack Sherwood owns fat heads doesn't mean he's going to change it. You better be right, Flex. You better be right. Oh, come on. Give him a chance, Uncle Two Dimes. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry about that. Me and my brother was just catching up on America's Top Model. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kevin Barnes, your new manager. Oh, pleased to meet you, Kevin. Tiffany will be managing the shop with you. Uh, family meeting. <laughs> Is anybody paying attention? They don't use our cones. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the manager. Made a life-size cutout and everything. You? Life-size? <laughs> Let's go, Bree. But, Daddy, don't you have one of those yourself? Uh, yes, baby, but Daddy's a star. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sherwood. When uh, my brother arranged for me to be managing the shop, he failed to mention that I will be assisted by uh, her. Hi. Her has a name. It's Tiffany, and I don't assist anybody. That's true. She never helps with anything. <laughs> Tiffany, if you and Kevin make this place profitable and you show me you can be responsible, you can enjoy all the perks of being a Sherwood again. But, Daddy, I need money. How am I going to live? 
Like most people, Tiffany, you're going to work for it. And no more traveling from hotel to hotel. You're going to get an apartment and start paying rent. Here's a small stipend to get you through the month. Well, well if you'll excuse me, there's some kids circling the limo. <laughs> Bye, princess. kind of way. <laughs> you know, it's fine for most people, but I would never shop there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because they don't have a spoiled brat section? <laughs> I don't know. I said I don't shop there. <laughs> Kevin, I was just in the office and I was bored, so I started looking the books and guess what? We're not making any money. So, what you plan to get me out of here? You don't see my big manly portrait out front? I mean, it's just another marketing tool I picked up from the BCC. <laughs> and here's another one. Mention my name, Kevin Barnes, and you get a free haircut. Kevin, Kevin Barnes. Hey. Congratulations, Kevin. You're actually losing us money now. Oh, oh, and what, do you have a better idea? Uh, oh, I know. We'll put in a cappuccino machine and listen to techno music all day and totally rave, dude. <laughs> Do we really want to resort to stereotypes? Homie. <laughs> but actually, who doesn't love cappuccinos? People are buying them across the street at the new Starbucks. Things are changing in this neighborhood, mister. And how would you know? Because when I got out of the limo and tried to run away, I noticed a few things. Like they're putting in a bookstore across the street and a trattoria. You know what I heard about that place? Isn't that where Dracula's from? <laughs> Yes, Walt. They're opening a vampire store across the street. For real? Look, the point is, I've been to the best spas all over the world. If we bring in some upscale services, like some sea salt scrubs or milk and honey facials, we can attract a new upscale clientele. Yeah, and by the time they get here, they would have spent all their money. Back in the BCC, we call that economics. Oh, well... I don't have a fancy community college degree like you, but before I got kicked out of Yale, we called that stupid. See, you rich people don't know anything about making money. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go print out my coupons. Tiffany, girl, ignore him. He's got issues. He's a guy. Well, what are his issues? Aren't you listening? He's a guy. Girl, I have to sit here and listen to this ignorance all day long. You know, Tiffany, this barbershop doesn't need a vampire store across the street. What it really needs is a werewolf store. They always need a cut. <laughs> Are these flowers? Is, is that a waterfall? Oh, hell no. Nah. Somebody has warmified my station. So we're going to need a couple of treatment rooms for massages, and I'd like to put a facial station next to the waterfall. Oh, Kevin. Uh, Tiffany, what have you done? Welcome to Serenity. Huh? Serenity. An urban oasis where you can pluck, scrub, and wax away the stress of the day. Here at Serenity. No, 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 no. You're not about to come up in here and change what it took my father 40 years to build. <laughs> this is a barber shop for men. Uh-uh. An urban oasis where men are welcome. But women are preferred. X <laughs> man, how you let this happen? My hands were tied. Well, not so much tied as they were soaking in paraffin. <laughs> my hands never felt so soft. It's like somebody else is touching. <laughs> This is my girl, Kendra. We have been best friends ever since our daddies donated buildings at Yale. And they still <laughs> kicked us out. I got my daddy to pull some strings. I got you two of the best styles from his record label and my cousin, because she just got out of rehab. <laughs> Girls! Cousin Bethany, I'll take, I'll take that. So this is your big plan? To bring in a slightly healthier Whitney Houston? <laughs> 
stylists are gonna put serenity on the map and turn blue collar Baltimore into a rainbow of fabulousness. Ladies, let's be beautify. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hold up, hold up, that's my station. You can't just be coming up in here and moving my stuff <laughs> without some help from me. <laughs> hey, man, get up, come on, we gotta do something. Can't right now, man. <laughs> it's like I'm in seventh grade all over again. <laughs> hey, Mr. Joe, you're next, bro. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I came down here to get a haircut and talk about women, not see them. <laughs> I don't mind old C cup over there, but <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Men are running away from here in droves. More women, more problems. Ain't that right, C Cup? Sure is, D Cup. Man, come on, man. We gotta do something quick. I'm way ahead of you, bro. We baked them out for some paella and sangria. Then tomorrow, they're so exhausted from our lovemaking, they cannot fight us. <laughs> Okay, you hold on to that, all right? <laughs> but for right now, we gotta show them how the brothers roll. Ain't that right, Big Walk? <laughs> Present that it's Neanderthal Americans. <laughs> hey, yo, Ace, give me a brew. No problem, bro. Straight from the Rocky Fountain. <laughs> How we do, you, know? you turned my waterfall into a beer fall. Well, yeah, the frozen margaritas were clogging it up. <laughs> None of these changes are going to make us any more money than Serenity. Well, you have your vision, and I got mine. <laughs> right now, my vision is raking in the coin. Cut change! <laughs> Kendra, get off his lap! Tiffany, don't be jealous. Get your own middle-class man. <laughs> you know what? I cannot work under these conditions. As co-manager, I demand as much say in this shop as you. And I say it's Serenity. Fathead. Serenity. Fathead. Serenity. Fine. You run Serenity, I'll run Fathead. Fine. 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 <laughs> gonna do? Oh, I'll show you what we gonna do. Big Ace, hit him! Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. They call us Fathead. 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 That's how we do it, cause we're crazy like a bad head. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it, ladies. We have Gunther. Mm. Gunther, tea, please. Oh. <laughs> What's your idea of serenity being served by Euro Trash from Chumbadale? <laughs> well, uh, I'm feeling pretty serene. How about you, lady? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want a real man? I'll uh -huh. show you a real Come man. Come on, bro. Show, 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 show. Who wants a haircut? Get out. Get out. Get out. Shake it. Rub it on Who wants a manicure? Bring your filthy nails. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Who wants to dance? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm going to no. No, no. You want to party? I'll show you how to party. Who wants a massage? <laughs>
Go, Tiffany. <laughs> okay, Daddy. What you saw out there was me being an efficient manager. No. What I saw was you doing what you always do, making life one big party. I thought if I brought you here and gave you some responsibility, you would appreciate the merit of hard work. I entrusted one of my businesses to you, and what did you do? You shimmied all over it. Y'all be quiet, I can't hear. Rich people don't talk as loudly as we do. And I hope she get what she deserves. Always thinking things should go her way. Uh, Kevin, put your shirt back on, man. You leave me no choice, Tiffany. I tried to give you a chance to do it your way. But, Daddy... You're my daughter, and I love you, but I'm also a businessman. That's why I'm going to make fat heads like the rest of my shops and bring someone in from corporate to supervise you. But, I mean, what's going to happen to Kevin and Candy and the rest of the guys? I'll get the nice severance packages, and they'll find other jobs. He's talking about changing my father's business into one of those cookie-cutter drive through shots where you can get a bad haircut and an oil change. <laughs> haircut? Oil change? Donuts. <laughs> Crispy Lou. I thought of it. It's my idea. Hey, Man, shut up. Move out my way. Daddy, this neighborhood doesn't need a speedy cut. The world doesn't need another speedy cut. They're boring, they're unoriginal. And by the way, your conditioner at least my hair very greasy. Greasy? Hmm. I have ten homes that say, oh well. <laughs> Mr. Sherwood, well, I've only got one home. And this is it. Now, I know you might have walked in on the strangest moment in Fathead's history, but, uh... <laughs> Truth is, Tiff and I, we just getting our groove. Call me Tiff, Kev. Don't slow my roll, girl. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make some mistakes. But we also gonna make some cheddar. Dough, bread, dinero. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's not all Tiffany's fault. I did play a very, very small part in it also. The truth is, she's not all party. She did come up with some good ideas. And Kevin had one. One more than you. <laughs> and, well, business is up 35%. You don't say. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but, uh, women are willing to spend a lot of money to correct nature's mistakes. <laughs> All right. I'll let you two kids do what you're doing. For now. But I'll be checking on you. Good job, princess. Tea? <laughs> Kevin, thanks for helping me save Serenity. Oh, I didn't save Serenity. <laughs> I saved fatheads. But I have to admit, having women in the shop does give the place a new flavor. <laughs> it all fits into my plan. Uh, what plan? Oh, well, it's my plan, but I'll let you in as we go along. Hey, everyone. Your first Verenity paychecks are here. Oh, nice. Thank nice. you. Yeah. This place has changed a lot since Tiffany and my little brother Kev have taken over. Yep, they're getting paid and everything. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany. You know, I'm not feeling this whole unisex thing. We need to get some partitions for my clients. Women don't want to be seen looking like ghetto tin men. <laughs> Honey, you look fine. But do you mind tilting your head? The reflection's blinding me. <laughs> oh, maybe I spoke too soon. You got a brother checking you out. Man, she look jacked up. <laughs> head looking like a baked potato. Come on, dog. At least you know what you're getting. I mean, if she looked like that at her worst, imagine her at her best. Well, I guess her worst ain't bad. All right. That's what's up. You cool. Uh, uh, hey, sorry. I couldn't help but notice you. <laughs> Give me a call sometime. I will. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the hookup. Just one of the many benefits here at... Ferenity. Oh, 
girl, he's a meat inspector. Throw him back. Oh. You women are a trip. I mean, first you complain that a brother don't got a job, and then you complain about the one he got. <laughs> a police dog has a job, and ain't nobody trying to hook up with Cujo either. <laughs> Women don't know what y'all want. And you men want it all. You want us to be your mothers, your lovers, and your friends. Yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Ain't nobody said nothing about being no friend. <laughs> <laughs>
Are those new horn rim glasses? Oh, no. Uh, new, new tape. Oh. On them. But I, I didn't come to talk fashion, Dwayne. I came to tell you that you are off the hook. You know, for the winterizing ball, you don't have to take me. I'm just gonna stay home and curl into a fetal position. <laughs> oh, too bad. I was, uh... Really looking forward to seeing you shake your chassis. Come on, Twain. You don't have to lie to me. I know the only reason you agreed to take me is because Big Sal's your boss, and you were afraid he was going to kill you. He didn't say anything, did he? Connie, I don't want to sleep with the fishes. He hasn't said anything in years except more sauce, less talk. <laughs> Connie, Connie, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. You know what? I feel your pain. Let me let you in on a little secret. People are like cars. You, for example, are a broken down old Chevy. But, you know, slap on a little paint, patch up the uh, airbags, and pretty soon, that broke down Chevy is a gently used Corvette. Me? A little red Corvette? Woo! Didn't go that far. <laughs> but uh, with a little help from Mary Kay and yeah. Big Sal's company card, maybe we can make you look like you're not about to party like it's 1929. Okay, Dad, we're here safe and sound. Bye-bye now. Oh, look, there's three perfect seats right there. No, Daddy, you are not sitting with us. Now, I'm not sitting with you. I'm sitting in between you. And that boy better keep his hands to himself, because if I feel a little boy hand touching my leg, we got a problem. Okay, I want you to know that you are literally embarrassing me to death. Keep the drama on the screen, Brianna. I'll be in the theater next door. Good. Or will I? I could be here. Or I could be here. Okay, Daddy, now you're scaring me. Are you up boys yet? No. Then my work here is half done. Hey. I, I don't think your dad likes me. That's okay. I do. Boy, am I glad I shaved. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, where else would I be on opening night of Honey, I Torch the Kids? Right here in this theater with my hot date. Girl, he paid me $20. I'm sorry, girl, I'm loyal, but I'm also broke. And you've seen my feet. I need a pedicure bed. Could you excuse us, bro? I mean, we're on a date. You calling me out, punk? Arnaz, go get me some popcorn. Please. OK. <laughs> you lucky. I'll be back, baby. Butter and all, my brother. <sighs> Finally, we have a moment to ourselves. Uh -huh. ah! <laughs> Didn't know where I was gonna be, did you? <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. You're slipping, boy. Lex Washington? Denise? Denise Kirk? Well, I haven't seen you since high school. Well, what have you been up to? Oh, got married, got pregnant, got divorced. <laughs> you? Got pregnant, got married, and got divorced. <laughs> I've been watching you, sabapping all over the airwaves. You look good on TV, but you look even better in person. My, 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 I don't remember you being as flirtatious. You, you are flirting with me, right? No. I am flat out coming on to you. You keep that up, you're gonna be rated flex. <laughs> you know, I had the hugest crush on you in high school. No. <laughs> but you are always with Nicole, so I never had the opportunity to really get to know you. Well, well, will you look who's here? Who? Our old friend. Mr. Opportunity. Hey, if your dad's in here, maybe I should just wait outside, you know? Because I don't want him to take a swing at me in the dark and get away with it. 
<laughs> Don't worry, he punches like a girl. <laughs> Daddy? Bri Bri. Could this be any more embarrassing? Mom? <laughs>
Ooh, Brianna, you in trouble? <laughs> uh, come scared. <laughs> You got five seconds to explain yourself. Five, four, three. You wasting time. I'm sorry, Daddy. I panicked. But you gotta admit it was weird. Boyfriend, brother, father, mother. They don't even do that in the projects. You're overreacting. It was just a double date. I thought we could have fun together. But it wasn't fun for me. You know what, Brianna? You're right. It was a bad plan. But I didn't set out to hurt you. But you sure set out to hurt me. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Ah, uh, someone called the authorities. Wild supermodel on the loose. You, Dwayne, I, I just came by to bring you this ricotta pie. And thank you for a wonderful evening. I felt like Cinderella at the ball. Huh. That's how it would make me your fairy godmother. <laughs> Without the uh, fairy or the mother part. Jane, last night, for the first time in a long time, I felt sexy. Oh, yeah. The big Sal hasn't made me feel that way since our wedding night, and that was just for five sweaty minutes. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I could do my part. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, what are you doing? What? Damn, girl, I can get sucked off a taste bud. <laughs> No, no, no. Why? Why not? We, we just don't go together. We're like a, a Snickers bar at a Weight Watcher convention. <laughs> Dwayne, I understand what's going on. I know you don't want to be with me because I'm white. No, it's because you're married. No, but... <laughs> you're married. You're married to my boss, my very violently tempered boss. And I mean, I like you, but I like my job and I like my legs too. And if you saw me in heels, you'd know why. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you don't want me. Uh, Connie, wait, look, Connie. Connie, sit down. What? Connie, you're a beautiful woman. Oh. And under any other circumstances, I would love to be with you. I mean, if sexy were a toothpaste, you would be tartar control. <laughs> you really think so? Absolutely. And if your husband doesn't think you're sexy after looking at you, they should change his name from Big Sal to Big Gal. <laughs> oh, happy Valentine's Day, Dan. Hey, you decorated? And you made brownies? Um, actually, they're Rice Krispie treats. I didn't know you weren't supposed to cook them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I was childish and selfish. And rude and spiteful and scheming, but you get that from your mama, so I can't blame it on you. <laughs> So, you forgive me? Sit down, baby. Oh, I smell a lecture coming on. Uh, no, that's your barbecue Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> Look, I shouldn't have tried to horn in on your date. But, but when that boy showed up at the door, all I saw was red. And not that pretty red you see around Christmas. That loud, angry, red rum, red rum! <laughs> Okay, Daddy, be careful, because they'll take you away. <laughs> it's just that no matter how old you get, you will always be my little girl. And you may be ready to date, but I'm not ready for it yet. But I'm 15. You have to let go sometime. But maybe you could wait another year and buy me some time to get used to it. And if I'm lucky, you'll have a bad case of acne, and ain't nobody gonna want you anyway. But Daddy, that's not fair. Can't we compromise? Okay, you can date. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only if it's in a group with an odd number of people. Uh, and that way, there'll be a fifth wheel hating all night long. I guess I can live with that. Good. In the meantime, I'll be a date tonight. So, will you be my Valentine? Oh, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Cream it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I knew this was going to happen. Mr. Nate. 
these back. Okay. Right, honey, uh, um, it's gonna be a little tricky. It's hard to swim to people in person, so just okay. act and act. Just gotta, uh, 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 good idea, Connie. Every customer should get a pie. <laughs> hey, dude, man. What's up, man? Hey, you stopped taking my calls, and my steering wheel came off. Uh, 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 Nate, dog. <laughs> you know, this is a little anti-theft device. I mean, who's gonna steal a car without a steering wheel? <laughs> hey, man, I just want my money back, and don't make me have to get the whole dog pound in to get it back. All right, hey, oh. All right, let's not perpetuate the stereotype of the angry rap artist. Hey, first off, I'm not a rap artist. I'm a hip-hop impresario. Uh, and if you think I'm playing, I'll take your pie and your woman. She's looking real attractive right now. Uh, well, uh, she's not uh, my... Dwayne? Uh, I don't feel we should uh, upset Mr... Mr. Dog any further. <laughs> So, you, uh, you find me attractive. Yeah, you and the pie. Come on. <laughs> Captain, say, a uh, woman, cause she hanging on me. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got pros. Yeah, you do. <laughs>diddy condo association with their rules and regulations man where do we live in germany may i keep my water bid nine 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 <laughs> man that rule protects everybody especially you d i've seen you trying to get out of that water bed look like a roach that fell in a swimming pool <laughs> <laughs> they're doing you wrong d thank you you know what else is wrong you're not sitting in my chair so i could tighten you up <laughs> no, no i don't think so Walt. last time i was in your chair my hairline was as crooked as an enron executive <laughs> Hey, man, that's what you get when you win your barber license in a crap game. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, Mommy. <laughs> Brianna, I was at the library for the last 45 minutes, and I realized something was missing. <laughs> you. <laughs> Why are you here and not studying for the PSAT? Because my nails are W-E-T, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you mess them up, you got to pay me more M-O-N-E-Y. <laughs> See, Mommy, a spelling game. I am studying. Brianna, let's go. Nicole, relax. It's not that serious. The PSAT is a standardized test. She can't study for it. It's a test on what she already knows. You don't study for the test. You study how to take the test, Professor Flatapp. <laughs> You're right, Nicole. Baby, when you take the test, read the questions and darken the bubble with the right answer. Now study that. I dream a weebie. <laughs> <laughs> So you do this every time. I say one thing and you have to say the opposite. That's not true. Tall. Short. Left. Right. Michael Jackson. Right. Black. <laughs> right. I don't know. Sometimes in the night you can feel all by yourself. Check one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. SATs is very important. I come from a long line of women that didn't go to college. I started the tradition of higher learning, and she is going to continue it. You also come from a long line of women who started the tradition of drinking Kool-Aid out of jelly jars. <laughs> go ahead, make jokes, Flex. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You were getting into college regardless. You had basketball. All my babies got are her brains. <laughs> And I'm scared. This is what the establishment wants us to do. Argue amongst ourselves. That's why they made that test culturally biased. I mean, check it. What's the first thing they tell you? Bring a number two pencil. Why? Because a number one pencil is too dark, too strong, too dominant over that white paper. OK, OK, fine. Even if a portion of the test is culturally biased, math is universal. There is no excuse for not doing well in that section. But, Mom, I'm going to be an actress. If math is ever in a movie, it's going to go straight to video. Oh, oh. Uh, I want to underestimate math. See? Now, I use it every day. Uh -huh. For example, uh -huh. if my bookie is heading to my house at 40 miles per hour and I left town 30 minutes ago, in which state would he be breaking my legs? Anyone? <laughs> Anybody? 
Texas. Wow. <laughs> you know, I got a perfect score on my PSATs. No. no. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And my life has been downhill ever since. You want to know why? Because everyone expects you to be a genius. So I know the chemical composition to a cancer vaccine. But that don't get you women. Now, used cars. That gets you women. <laughs> yeah, used women. I ain't picky, girl. <laughs> Look, the child is only 16. I want her to enjoy her life. I don't want her under so much pressure. And I don't want her to be 34, stressed out and bitter, like you. You're right. That's why, in addition to some study books, I brought along something to inspire her. You see, it's a book about a woman that was trapped in a shotgun marriage, and she was able to escape because she got an education. But, Mommy, this is your wedding album. Exactly! <laughs> Brianna, to the library. <laughs> okay, students, it's time for the PSATs. Take your seats. Ooh! Ooh! Pencils are for writing, not for stabbing. So, Brianna, you think you're ready? Look, that Christmas kiss was a big mistake. I wish we... Oh, you mean the test. Yeah, boy, I got this. Spirit, what about you? Well, ooh, I wasn't prepared for that question. Ooh, I'm gonna fail. Hey, don't stress. I mean, everybody's a little nervous. Especially you when you're around me. You look tense. Oh, please, you and your corny. Ooh. Girl, he's strumming my pain with his fingers. <laughs> How can you two fool around at a time like this? This is the most important moment of our lives. Girl, if it was that important, all the banks would be closed. <laughs> Besides, I've got dreams. And my talent can't be determined by some multiple choice questions. It's more true or false. Brianna is talented, true. Brianna cares about this test, false. <laughs> All right, students, it's time to begin. And if I catch any of you cheating, you'll be taking it up with the Board of Education. <laughs> Just a little PSAT joke. Don't tell your mommies and daddies. Okay, begin with your social security number and your name. And I thought that chubby red M&M was on the loose. <laughs> Man, why do you always have to be joking about my weight? Don't you think I try? Donut? Ooh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> What's with the paint, man? You see, red door symbolizes good luck. Feng shui. Oh. <laughs> Breaking the uniformity rule. The condo board's gonna feng shui you to the curb. <laughs> the point is, Flex, according to this rule book, in cases of aesthetic alterations, the condo board will only intervene if a complaint is lodged. And I talked to everybody in the building, and they are all for it. So, uh, <laughs> who the man? I the man. <laughs> okay, looks like you've uh, beaten the system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twinkie? You know you shouldn't tempt me, Flex. All right, man, fry it up, and I'll be in there in 10 minutes. All right. <laughs> I've never seen parent-teacher night this crowded. Well, they're also giving out the PSAT results, which means college is just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which reminds me, um, you need to come up with $150,000 so she can go to Harvard. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll just reach in my wallet and pull up my million-dollar bill. <laughs> I hope it have change. <laughs> and what are you going to pay for? I was in labor for 17 hours. <laughs> my debt is paid. <laughs> Man, look at all the people here. Reminds me when my dad used to drag me to those parent-teacher nights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, just like that. 
The Flex. Isn't that Carl Swayze from high school? I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, he was pretty popular back in the day. Yeah, he still looks good. Yeah, if you like a guy with his name on his pocket. <laughs> now, who would have thought he'd become a janitor? Well, should we speak to him? Do you want to feel incredibly uncomfortable? Oh, what time? <laughs> Ready for us. Oh, Ooh, that was quick. Oh, yeah, I told the mommy couldn't be on her feet too long. A bad case of the gout. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. I'm Miss Sorrell. <laughs> you must be Brianna's parents. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about Brianna's future. Yes, yes, let's talk about Harvard. Oh, no, no, let's talk about the University of Maryland. Go Terps! <laughs> no, she's going to Harvard. Go smarty pants. <laughs> Go smarty pants. Huh? And you have a PhD. They just give them away, don't they? <laughs> Divorced parents, huh? Yeah, I suggest we get this thing going before he mentions her toes. Okay, uh, let's pull your file. Uh-huh, here it is. Oh, my! Brianna, could you go get us some cookies? Oh, I see you want to have a private conversation with my parents. Look, I've never said this before, but if they start talking about each other's mamas, duck. <laughs> the cookie line isn't long, so we need to talk fast. According to her PSAT results, we'll be lucky if she can find her way back. So what are you saying? Well, she's a good student, but with test scores like these, I'm afraid she's just not college material. What do you mean, she's not college material? Take a look at these. Let me see, huh? I can't take her nowhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> a tutor and, and some flashcards. That way you can look at them on the bus and in between classes and then you can put them under your pillow at night so they can sink into your head while you sleep. Mom, I'm not going to college. I don't want to go to college. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Baby, go to your room. You're killing your mother. Oh. Oh. Flex, we, we gotta fix this. What are we gonna do? If she skins her knee, we kiss it and make it better. If she gets into a fender bender, we take the car to the repair shop. If you get these, oh. we buy her a helmet and pad her room. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, Nicole, but the girl's not going to college. What do you mean she's not going to college? That's what we always planned. It's the one thing we agreed on. Yeah, that was before we saw her test scores. Oh. Have you seen these numbers? Oh. I mean, 60 out of 240? <laughs> You get 20 points just for knowing your name. Where did I go wrong? When I was pregnant with her, I ate right. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I even put the Walkman headphones on my belly and played classical music for her in my womb. Except for that night that you slipped in that fat boy CD. Uh, me? It's, it's your fault. All those 7-Eleven burritos while you were pregnant. You were belly up to a microwave almost every night. You probably fried her fetal brain. Look, Flex, blaming each other is not gonna do her any good. Okay, you're right. We gotta think about Brianna, yes. right? We have to consider her future and, and start to make plans so she'll be well taken care of. Flex, what are you saying? God forbid something happens to us, Nicole. Our baby could end up... in a group home? <laughs> Come on, man. Do, do you really think it's that bad? Numbers don't lie! <laughs> Where you going? To DeVry. <laughs> to pick up a catalog. You aiming too high at DeVry. <laughs> Come on, man. Get up. Let me have that. Get up. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Walt, this is your lucky day. So don't jack me up, man. Hey, I got you, all right? Frankly, I'm insulted that you would insinuate I ain't the master barber. Now, how do I work these hair cutty things? Man. <laughs> you know I'm playing, man. Look, well, I don't have time for your jokes, dog, all right? So focus and cut my hair. Flex. Hey, hey man. Hey, uh, don't look at me, Patches. <laughs> all right, look, we just call it a birthmark. Come man, on. Look. <laughs> I'm glad I saw you, Flex. Man, we're gonna have to call the exterminators for our building because it looks like we have some rats. Somebody anonymously complained about my feng shui. Man, I hate that building. I've been betrayed and vengeance shall be mine. 
bro, I said, vengeance shall be mine. But I don't say that every day. Yes, you do. Yeah, I do. All right. Anyway, dog, I got some things on my mind. We just got Brianna's PSAT results. It turns out she's not as bright as we all thought. How slow are we talking? You know how long it takes my dad to pay, y'all? That's slow. Ooh. Ooh. Not her IQ. <laughs> hey, Daddy, I came to get some gas money so I can go to the mall. Oh, the mall? No, you know that's uh, clear across town. You know, a lot of lights and stop signs. And let's not mention those left-hand turns. Uh-huh. Uh, Flash, you don't think that might be a little complicated? What? Complicated, baby. As in, um, <laughs> difficult, or hard to do, not easy. Yes, I know what the word complicated means. Oh, see that thing? God, my baby knows what complicated means. <laughs> oh, you'll get there, baby. You know they have a special bus that can pick up girls like you. <laughs> OK, I don't know what's going on here, but why is everybody acting like I'm stupid? Oh, well, no, no, no. Nobody's saying you're stupid, no. Look, after seeing the results on the PSAT test, I'm a little concerned. That means he cares about you, baby. <laughs> You still tripping about that test? You can't take that test seriously. Lord knows I didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I could have done better on the test, but I just didn't care. Wait a minute. You didn't even try to do well on that test? No, I don't need it. I've decided I'm going to embrace my acting talent. The only education I need is a classroom of life and a dialect coach. Good day, Governor. <laughs> but, Brianna, you need a backup plan. But that's what soap operas are for. <laughs> I'll see you later, Daddy. Uh-huh. I have a soap opera for her, as the belt turns. <laughs> Nicole, we need to fix this. Oh, so now we've got some fixing to do. What happened to, she has to find herself, and I don't want her to be under so much pressure. Oh, come on, we both know what was going on. I was just saying the opposite of what you were saying. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Would you stop that? <laughs> Look, what are we going to do about our brilliant yet manipulative child. Well, one thing's for sure, we gotta make her understand that she needs a backup plan. Mm -hmm. And she's going to the college of my choice. You're right. No, don't argue with me. I'm... You, <laughs> you agree with me? Huh? Was it as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> Hurry up, hoppity. How long do you have to wear that thing? Don't worry, girl. I'll be back chasing you in 30 days. Stop it! <laughs> dressed up? Because the college recruiters are coming today. Yeah, but you're only a sophomore. Yes, a sophomore who scored a 200 out of 240 on her PSATs, which means I'm on the fast track to one of the better colleges. Well, if you got a 200 and you're on the fast track and I got a 215, what track am I on? A track to a boring life, punching in and punching out, 2.5 kids, a white picket fence, supporting a wife who can't cook, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You know what? You can be my accountant, because I'm on my way to Hollywood, or should I say, Brianna Wood. <laughs> and my soul needs relief. I'm holding you. Hey, hey, I'm holding you. Who's that? When the world comes down, I look around. Yes, I do. I try to find the way to keep my feet on the ground. How'd you end up scrubbing toilets? No offense. None taken. Besides, I don't really scrub them. I just make sure the water stays blue. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that song. That was holding you by physical edge. That's right. I was the lead singer. I formed that group right out of high school. Holding you was number one. Till color me bad knocked me off the charts. But you can sing. You can cut another album. I cut four of them. And then they cut off my lights. <laughs> we better get to class. Man, thanks, Carl. I hope this makes Brianna realize that she has to have a backup plan. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry things didn't work out for you in music and all. Are you kidding me? I own a custodial service. I got the contract for the whole Baltimore school district. Then what are you doing here? I'm only filling in for one of my workers who's on vacation. Plus, it keeps me off the golf course and out of the sauna. You know, gives me a chance to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Flood app. 
You know, Carl is looking better and better to me. Mm. <laughs> when the world gets weird, everybody gets through, I'm holding on. Nicole, what are you doing here? Well, actually, Flex, um, I was having fantasies about us getting back together again. So I come over here every afternoon, and I hug your pillows, and I smell your shirts, and I pray to God you take me back. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, the results of Rihanna's makeup PSATs are in. Okay, I'm ready for you. It's time to go. Come on. <laughs> okay. Rihanna? Okay, guys, I just want you to know that you were right. I should have a backup plan. That's good. Now, now open it up. And no matter what these numbers say, I did my best, so please don't be mad at me. Oh, we're not going to be mad at you. Just open it up. Come on. And I just want to say Why that you just I... open the envelope? <laughs> I got a 220. She did! Our baby's not an idiot! Somebody snitched on me again. I'm telling you, man, I'm starting to feel like someone is prejudiced against me. It's straight up Dwayneism. Uh, Daddy, Mr. Cross from the Condo Association is on the phone. He wanted to let you know that they resolved some red door issue you complained about. I gotta go. Vengeance shall be mine! scholarship applications. Why do I need letters of recommendation? Hey, I bet if you send in some of your fashion designs, someone will recommend that you not go to college. <laughs> That's nice, Arnez. Have you filled out your my mama's white and my daddy's black and I can't sing yet scholarship? <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I've done all my applications. Money for college will not be an issue. That's my boo. We're gonna be the cutest college couple. We'll live in a cute studio apartment, and I'll make you breakfast, and I'll burn the toast, but you won't care, because I'll be wearing one of your T-shirts and looking so cute. Uh, you be making toast for a ghost. <laughs> hey, Mr. Washington, yeah. get off me. <laughs> <laughs> toast for a ghost. That's a funny joke. I'm trying. <laughs> It'll be even funny in the hallway. <laughs> to Arnaz. He is my man. Yeah, I tell you one thing. I'm not paying thousands of dollars for you to play house with Arnaz. But, Daddy, I'm going to be the one going off to college. It's sort of up to me who I'm going to be living with. Well, not if I'm sort of paying for it. <laughs> Since when did your offering to pay for college come with so many strings attached? There's only one string attached, and it's to that yo-yo that just ran out of here. <laughs> oh, I get it. So paying for college is just daddy code for control my daughter. Did you think after high school, Arnaz and I were just going to shake hands and go our separate ways? Well, yeah. Daddy, I am grown. And you can't tell me what to do when I go to college. You're not grown until you pay your own way. Fine. Then I'll pay my own way. Oh, really? You gonna pay for your own education? Yep, and Spirit's gonna help me find some scholarships. Good, then I'm gonna find a way to spend your college money. <laughs> oh, how do you think I look in a Porsche? Oh, we know the answer to that. <laughs> Clippers 98 to 80. Hmm. Now, sometimes I think the Clippers exist just so that their owners can make rubles betting against them. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Matt, that's it. 
Ronya has gone too far. She can't continue to say things like the owner's betting against his own team. Why not? That's what people love about her. She's provocative. She's shocking. But she's irresponsible. I mean, I didn't take intro to broadcast journalism twice <laughs> so, uh, to be part of this kind of sensationalism. We're professionals here. Does anybody know the world record for the deepest belly button? <laughs> Come on, Flex, if you're ever going to become a household name, you've got to let go of your integrity. People talk about Rania. No one's talking about you. No one, man. The only time your name is mentioned is when people ask why the show is called The Flex Files. Now, come on, get out there. Go on, you're on in five. Four. And we're back. Today we're going to discuss the NBA and what's wrong with it. It's bad. It's really, really, really bad. These high school players should stay in college for at least a year. That's where they learn their fundamentals. I say stay in school, man. You know what? I say teach them how to shoot. All American players know how to do is donkey, dunk, dunk. I mean, it is nothing but a big me show. It's just all, oh, watch me, watch me. I'm donkey, dunk, dunk. Watch me, donkey, dunk, dunk. That doesn't even make sense. What do you know about real sports? All you've done is play volleyball. Okay, I didn't play volleyball. I dominated it. Thousands of fans flocked to our matches. And the only reason they flocked to those matches is because of the sexy shorts y'all were wearing. They were practically naked. It's porn with a net. It's body porn. And we're out of time. Thanks for watching. Flat. Donkey donk donk. You really think so? Oh, welcome to the game, player. That was fantastic. I need a cigarette. <laughs> I said I need a cigarette. Sorry. <laughs> Flex. You know, there's some real idiots out there. Oh, now there's one in here. Let's see the sailor costume. I ordered some uniforms for my employees down at D's, Dubs, and Subs. Man, I thought it was pretty clear. Subs stands for submarine sandwiches, not submarine sailors. Well, why don't you eat your spinach and go beat them up? <laughs> <laughs> Man, the Navy's getting desperate. It's not my fault. Man, the factory screwed up my uniforms. It serves you right for having them made by... Fabulous man. <laughs> How about if I make you a new batch and you write me a letter of recommendation for a scholarship? Done. Come on. I got the guy's sizes over at my place. So when do I get to meet the rest of the village people? <laughs> oh, yeah, Daddy. We ran into Mrs. Garvey from downstairs. She said she watched the show last night and she wanted me to pass this on to you. <laughs> oh, so people are talking about me. You're not the only one being talked about. In fact, I have a scholarship interview here tomorrow. I would say neener, 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 but that might be a little disrespectful. Well, if you think I'm going to get upset because somebody else is going to give you $100,000 to shack up with some loser, you are wrong. You must not have noticed me and my feelings sitting here. Oh, I'm sorry, Inez. Well, just imagine what I say when you're not around. <laughs> News, kids, we've been getting phone calls from stations wanting to pick up the show. Ah. And, Flex, one call from my mother. She hates you. Oh. Places, people! Hi, and welcome to the Flex Files. I'm Flex, and this is our token eye candy, Rania. <laughs> Get a load of those gams, fellas. That's what she's here for. So I'm sexy. What's the problem? Sex sells. I just wish it were cheaper. <laughs> I don't have a problem with women being sexy. Eh? I like them that way. Then what is your problem, Flex? <laughs> Besides you? <laughs> I'll tell you what my problem is. Women's sports like volleyball are a waste of time. Women don't belong in professional sports. They're just not as good. Then what would you have us do? What, stay home and cook? <laughs> yeah, while you're there, clean up the house and raise those kids. <laughs> See, the world would be better off if women stopped serving volleyballs and started serving dinner. 
how about a nice kielbasa? <laughs> well, it looks like somebody needs a snack. <laughs> well, we'll be right back with more reasons why women should stay home and raise our future. I mean, look at me. I was a latchkey kid, and look how I turned out. And I'm crazy. You don't know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Brianna, your application is most impressive. I can't see any reason why the Women in Business Committee won't grant you a full scholarship. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, Daddy. <laughs> I have someone here who's going to give me money that you should meet. <laughs> Daddy, this is Mrs. Schaefer. Oh, <laughs> you. You're Flex Washington. Yeah, yes, I am. You want an autograph? I'll hook you up. <laughs> Brianna, I'm afraid we can't support someone associated with your father's misogynist views. But, but wait, those aren't my views. They're not even his views. Yeah, she, she's right. That's part of my immensely popular alter ego. <laughs> Good luck, Brianna. And Daddy, thanks for blowing my scholarship. Not that you care. All you care about is controlling my life and keeping Arnez and me apart. I hope you're happy. Actually, I kind of am. I just saved a bundle on my car insurance. <laughs> wow, Brianna, you sure got a lot of scholarship rejection letters. How are you going to deal with all this? Well, that's why you're here. You're the rejection expert. <laughs> yeah, and just for that, I'm not going to give you this one. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Spirit. Somebody actually wants to give me money. And it's not the guy in the van who's always circling his cool. Spirit! These shirts you made for me and the guys are all the wrong sizes. I mean, look at me. I look like a sausage. But you gave me those sizes. Ta -ta -ta quiet. Well, that sassy attitude might find its way into your little letter of recommendation. I'm gonna need 20 new shirts. Stat. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares about pregnant men. <laughs> yeah, I should get started on those shirts. All right. Oh, would you mind dropping off Arnaz's backpack? He left it over here. Oh, what are these? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't use them, I swear. He was just showing me the different colors they come in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But get a load of these. He, th these are all his scholarship applications. He never even filled them out. Oh, my God, Brianna. I know. He doesn't know how to write. <laughs> no, Spirit. He lied to me. Look, Daddy, I really want this scholarship. So don't say any of that chauvinistic stuff you say on your show. Brianna, I didn't want you to lose those other scholarships. And you know I'm not really a chauvinistic pig. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of honeys up in here. <laughs> oh, it looks like our scholarship finalist, Brianna Barnes, is here with our Man of the Year, Flex Washington. <laughs> Ladies, where's the curtsy? <laughs> oh, I'm Mrs. Jonathan Sullivan, and this is Mrs. Jonathan Fisher. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Washington, it is quite rare that we get to meet someone in your profession who shares our values. So true, Mrs. Fisher. Mm -hmm. I love when you said, why buy a woman a watch when there's a clock on the oven? <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we all sit down? Well, you can forget this scholarship. You've got nothing in common with these women. So I guess you have to play by daddy's rules after all. I will meet you at the car. <laughs> I'm sure you would like that, wouldn't you? Well, I'm gonna get their money. Playing by their rules. Watch me work. <laughs> oh, I love your skirt, Mrs. Fisher. I think you have the straightest pleats that I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, dear. Uh, make sure you tell Mrs. Sullivan I failed last week's pleat check. <laughs> 
As you all know, each year we sponsor a college-bound woman to get an education and achieve her dream of catching that perfect man. Someone not unlike yourself, Mr. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should all reach for the stars, Mrs. Sullivan. <laughs> But in the meantime, could you reach for that scone over there and slap some Devonshire on that bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us about yourself, dear. What's a typical day in the life of Brianna Barnes? Well, that depends on how late the mall stays open. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it all depends on what my father wants. I find that my day goes a lot smoother when he makes all my decisions for me. <sighs> That's right. Like fathers having approval over any gentleman callers. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we don't want the wrong rooster getting into the hen house. Now, do we, ladies? <laughs> Well, when the hen goes to college, the farmer can't tell the hen what to do anymore, can he? <laughs> Unless, of course, that hen wants to use her eggs to bake a cake. <laughs> oh, bake a cake? Oh, now I get it. <laughs> oh, Brianna, you are well on your way to becoming a wonderful wife and mother. <laughs> And after you snag that perfect young man your first year, sophomore year will be the perfect time to get pregnant. Pregnant? <laughs> well, of course. That way you can drop out before you declare a major, become a housewife and a mother before you turn 21, then join us for two-for-one margarita night at TGI Fridays. Woo! Whoa, 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 now. Nobody said nothing about birthing no babies at TGI Fridays. Oh, but Mr. Washington, it's important to get the baby train going while you're still young. Wait a second, let me get this straight. You guys want to give me money so I can catch a man, have his babies, and wait on him hand and foot? Oh. <laughs> You're so proud of you, Brianna. I knew we picked the right girl. Well, I am the right girl, but not because of your reasons. Look, I want to go to college, but I want to go to get an education, not to catch a husband. That's right. Brianna's mother and I raised her to, to be anything she wants to be. If she wants to be a housewife or, or even a doctor, it's her choice. I'm sorry, Brianna, but I don't think that you embody the ideals of this organization. Ooh, thank God, because you desperate housewives are whack. <laughs> and, and those scones, store-bought. <laughs> Mrs. Sullivan's husband is having an affair! <laughs> Hey, girls. What are you wearing? It's a shirt I just bought from Dwayne. It's pretty cool, huh? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yeah, it's worth it. I just can't wear it around someone. But I can't remember who, though. Those are the shirts I made. Dwayne! Somebody call me. Oh, hey, Spirit. You got my shirts? Yeah, they're right here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Give me your wallet. I want my cut. All right, all right, all right. Hey, come on. Yeah. Good thing I keep my money in my sock. So what's up, babe? Oh, I just wanted to give you these. I think it's just some mail you left over here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> nah, breed them. Okay. They're your scholarship applications, Arnaz. I found them in your backpack. You went through my stuff? You lied to me? Look, Brianna, it's not what you think. I didn't apply for any scholarships because I didn't apply to any colleges. What? So you lied about that too? Uh, you went through my stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I was just waiting for the right time. Is this now a good time? What about all our plans to go to college together? Brianna, my music is blowing up. College is not fitting my plans anymore. Well, what about me? Do I still fit into your plans? Of course you fit into my plans. Wherever you go, I'm gonna follow. You can't get rid of me that easy. <laughs> but it was different when I thought we were going to school together. What are you gonna be doing while I'm studying? I don't know, hanging out, doing my thing. 
But that wasn't part of the plan. Well, then let's just change the plan. The idea is for us to be together, right? Look, I have band rehearsal to go to. You want to come? Uh, actually, I have a term paper due. So I'll just see you later. All right, babe. Hey, baby. Bree, if, if I haven't said it enough, I gotta tell you, I, I'm proud of you and how you stood up for yourself with those women today. Yeah, I did. But that was my last chance at any scholarship money. Besides learning how to curtsy, what else do I have? You had me. Brianna, I've been putting money away for you to go to college your whole life. It's there for you. Fine, Daddy, you win. I'll take your money and do whatever you want. <sighs> Baby, look, it's not about what I want. It's about what's right and what's right for you. You can't take care of Arnaz and then plan his life for him. He has to find his own way as a man. Yeah, I'm learning that. Good. Because the most important thing is, is that you take care of you. Sweetie Daddy's not going to always be there to do it. Who are you kidding? You're going to take care of me forever. Because you're my daddy, and that's what daddies do. Mm, and that's the best job to have. <laughs> Hi, this is Flex Washington, and welcome to the Flex Five. Hi, you! You my little chauvinistic donkey. I challenge you to a game of volleyball. Uh, Rania, listen, all, all that's over. I, I was just about to tell our female audience that they should do whatever they want. If they want to go to work, go to work if you want. Stay at home if you want. Play any sport you want. And you're just as good as men. And don't let anybody tell you different. Mm-hmm. Does this mean you're backing away from my challenge? Oh. <laughs> you're killing me. Think of the ratings. Don't worry, Matt. I got your ratings. 